Oops. That took faster than I Let us again introduce the tandem candidates for the presidential and vice presidential elections. VP Lenny Robredo and Senator Kiko Pangilino. Senator Pin Laxon and Senate President Tito Soto. Former Senator Bongbong Marcos and Davao City Mayor Indoisera Duterte. Senator Manny Pacquiao and former Manila Mayor Lito Otienz. Manila Mayor Isco Moreno and Dr. Willie Ong. Let us now see the results for Luzon. Please pardon our origami bird for being slow to exit the screen. Okay, for the tandem results in Luzon. As can be gleaned from the screen, the percentages of SP Sato and Senator Ping are polar opposites for Luzon. There is a huge difference between their total percentages. It is interesting to note that the tandem of Mayor Isco and Doc Willie are near each other. This may mean that each one is complementing the other. The Kakamping as a team, VP Lenny and Senator Kiko has nearly the same percentage difference as the team of Senator Manny and Mayor Lito but the latter's percentages are quite low. Meanwhile the BBM Sarah Uni team is dominating all other tandems for Luzon. Both of them enjoy wide margins over their nearest competitors. As of this point, the BBM Sarah Uni team is very formidable in Luzon. Let us see in the succeeding survey summaries if these values will still go up or if the other tandems will be able to catch up with them somehow. It can be clearly seen that the undecided rate is quite high in the Visayas for both the presidential and vice presidential positions. For VP at 27.47% and for the president, it is at 23.12%. We believe that there will be significant changes in these values in the next survey update. There are two tandems that show significant disparity of percentages in the Visayas. These are the tandems of Senator Manny and Mayor Lito and that of Senator P and S. P. Sato. Both have a difference of about 10%. Another thing to note is that the tandems of VP Lenny and Senator Kiko almost have similar percentages with the tandem of Mayor Isco and Doc Willie. Furthermore, the most revealing data from the Visayas are the percentages of the BBM Sarah Unity. Only less than one percentage point separates the two of them. This means that the BBM tandem is complementing each other perfectly well while dominating the other tandems in the process. Based on the Luzon and this Visayas data, the BBM Sarah Uni team's numbers must be really really scary or maybe even disheartening for their opponents at this point. Let us now look at the Mindanao tandem results. There is a significant difference in the undecided percentage for President and VP. Approximately over 11%. It can be seen that three tandems are not registering significant percentage points for the Mindanao region at this time. At the tail end is the tandem of S.P. Sato and Senator Laxon, followed by the Kakamping tandem of V.P. Lenny and Senator Kiko. Mayor Isco and Doc Willie are just slightly doing better than the two tandems. One major notable data for Mindanao is the huge disparity between the percentages of Senator Manny and his running mate Mayor Lito. Senator Manny is at 15.85% while Mayor Lito is at 0.74% for Mindanao. This might be due to the fact that Senator Manny comes from this region. 
Another notable disparity here is the difference between the BB and Sarah Unity. Mayor Indre Sarah is ahead of her running mate, former Senator Bongbong Marcos, by about 31 percentage points. This is understandable as Mindanao is considered as the bailiwick of the Duterte family. Be that as it may, the BBM Sara Uni team demolishes all the other candidates. The strength of the BBM Sara Uni team is undeniable. This can be seen from what we have presented in the three major island groups of the country. Can they sustain this? Or will they lose steam at the end? We will find out in the coming months. BBM Sarah Uni Team's percentages is record-breaking. Now, please take time to enjoy the nationwide tandem result presentation that took time and effort to be completed. We know you plan to skip, please don't move. This will just take a minute or two for you to watch. Thank you. Oops. That took faster than I... It was less than a minute. And would you believe it took me hours to complete that? So, let's wrap this thing up fast, hopefully not painful for others. The data is self-explanatory. You may pause to look at each value one by one if you wish to. The BBM Sarah Uni team is the team to beat at this point. Other formal survey data confirms this. By the way, while we are on this topic, I would like to ask a question, no malice or pun intended. Why do you think that the other formal survey companies have been quite stingy in releasing their survey data? Please put your answers in the comment portion as well as your suggestions. As always, we thank you for your unending support. Shout out to everyone. I think I am about to lose my voice, so I'll make this quick. Till next time. This is Splat Communications, bye. Stay safe.